78 Sports TV here, all right? Uh, I got Earl Jarrett, Boxing Beats and Rhymes, UK Boxing Blogger, and uh, Jay Dill. And uh, we're going to discuss the breaking news that Johnny Bones Jones, UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, coming off his victory over Daniel Cormier, uh, has tested positive for a banned substance uh, known to cover up cocaine. From what I've heard and what I've read, that's what they're saying. Uh, that's all the information I got. They say that John Jones has entered a drug treatment program. This is what Yahoo Sports is reporting. I haven't seen it anywhere else yet because we just got done with a debate. So I'm getting this information in. But um, this is fucked up, man. Earl, man, what's your thoughts on this? Man, I don't know what to say, bro. Like, I'm actually fucking shocked. I'm shocked. Like, this is the worst thing you want to hear. The game came off a career high performance, and it just, it, it's just blowing my mind. You know, I, I hope it's not true. I hope it's not true. Um, I don't want it to be true. And if it's true, it's fucked. All them fucking people talking this shit is going to start. It's terrible. But in the long run, yeah, it's good for the sport to find out these sort of things. Yeah, but this is terrible. It's disastrous for his career. And it, oh, it's just horrible um, for the sport, man. Um, it's, 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 I don't know what to tell, man. I'm, I'm, I'm in shock still. I, I, just want, I don't want it to be true. I don't want it to be true. I'll move on. I ain't going to say I don't want it to be true. Wow, what you think, J. Dill? This reminds me of this Pernell Whitaker shit back in '97, man. Um, I don't want this shit to be true with this coke shit, but man, this would fuel the haters even more. I mean, John Jones got my biggest kudos for just winning a 50 50 fight against a beast and Dan Daniel Cormier. And a lot of people didn't even think Jones was going to win that fight. And Jones was the stronger man in that fight, it looked like. But now I'm after all this and then me and guys like Lee were talking about how good John Jones is. And then after me and Lee debate, this is why I hear John fucking Bones Jones test positive for cocaine. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, that's that's a fucking shockwave. And that hurts my fucking gut, man. I'm, I'm one of the the biggest fans to do since 2010. I presented this dude in front of my uncle who passed away in 2011 when he beat the shit out of Shogun Rua. And I was like, this kid is special. And now he gets test positive for cocaine, of all things. I mean, that's one hell of a drug, but man, that can ruin your reputation, your brand, and that does disservice to the sport and to the individual himself. And um, if this is true, man, he got a lot of demons to fight. And, man, that hurts me as a fan to see and hear something like this. And that's all I got to say. Okay. Uh, Beats, man, what you think about this? What, what source did it come from? Yahoo? Yahoo Sports and uh, MMA Fighting is reporting it. Uh, CBS Sports is not reporting it, so it must be true if CBS reporting it. Damn, brother getting Bill Cosby. Does he make a statement? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, has, jo has Jones made a statement himself? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure, but I know, I know they said that he entered drug rehab. But well, what can you say? Well, it's not a performance enhancing substance, though, Cole, though, is it? So. Yeah. I hear they were doping in the UFC anyway, so, I mean, they can't even go in like that. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Lee, what you think, Lee? Mate, check this out, guys. Look what I'm sitting here wearing right now. Look. No, wow. I don't want to. I don't want My bones to owns, man. Are I've got, got every walkout shirt he's had since his white form athletic t shirt on the Brandon Verified, man. I'm the biggest John Jones fan going. Gutted. You got Gutted. Yeah, you got his t shirt. You got his t shirt on, right? I've even got the Night Bones own t shirt. I've got three Night t shirts, four actually, man. But. Fucking, um, I got all these. I, got, I even got his two new Reeboks. Hey, show the t shirt on, again, on, man. On. Hey, your camera just came on. Show the t shirt, bro. Uh, 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 what are you talking about? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Look, yeah, yeah. Can you see it? Nah, man. It's not, it's loading up. You just turned it off. Like, go on. Right, right, I'll, wait, I'll, keep I'll wait for it to come back on. Yeah, keep talking. But anyway, I've just did some red up on it. Apparently, on December the 4th, man, he, he, he failed a drug test and passed it three days later. UFC allowed him to carry on fighting. That's probably why Dana White was so so uh, was the way it was a little bit subdued because they knew he failed it in the beginning of December, but because of the world athlete the WADA who do the testing out of competition testing for the Nevada State Athletic Commission now, uh, it's not an out of uh, competition performance enhancing drug. 
So if he'd have come up to fight week and he tested for that, he would have been banned. But because it's out of competition testing, for athletes in the World um, Anti-Doping Agency, they don't class that as cheating. It was a chemical substance which makes up most of the compound of fucking cocaine, apparently. Can you see it yet? No, I don't yeah, want to see it. Nah, I can't see it. Yes. Nah, I ain't come on. Man. Them rednecks are going to bring in swastikas out now, boy. It's going to get... No, do you know, can I... I want to say my... Piece. Sorry, man. I think he's... he's you see why John Jones was making a point of it, like he and I've been saying this on videos as well. He'd been saying that he's gonna now move to Albuquerque, start taking training seriously. Mm. This is what it was all about, you know. Obviously, he knew that you get Dana White and that were like, "Look, man, you get this fight out of the way, or whoever, and his his managerial team." get this win, you, you're going to be moving to Albuquerque and you're going to be going in drug rehab and you're going to be sorting yourself out. That's that's the bottom line of it. I always thought John Jones, is, he was raised, his dad's like, um, what's them things for a priest over in America? You know, one of the preacher guys. Pastors, what do they call a pastor? Yeah, his pastor. dad's a pastor. Yeah. He's a religious guy. All his family, like all the boys and that went to college education, excelled at sports. You know, they got a good family. I didn't think he would do something like that. I always thought John Jones probably would have a couple of womanizing years because he's always been with the same woman all his life, you know, so when he gets that fame he's a good looking guy, you know, maybe a couple of years of messing about a bit, stay loyal to the woman after that, I thought he might drink a little bit, me and my mate were talking about this today, but never in my wildest dreams would I thought he'd be like a Ricky Hatton binge drinker or a cokehead I, thought, I never thought that, but Fuck. All right. But, you know, everybody's like that, man. He'll learn, man. He'll sort himself out and he'll come back the best ever. Still. Yep. Still the greatest ever. He, he isn't getting banned for it. Yo. Just... We'll see, yeah? That brother's getting lynched. No, nah, man. Yeah. It's just, it's just, I mean... Ah, oh, boy. It's fucked up, man. I guess I'll save it for another Well, obviously, video. obviously mm -hmm. UFC support him through this. They could have... They, what UFC have been doing lately in these out-of-competition things, if, if a fighter gets called on drugs, they ban them themselves. They ban them. And, and if you go and read, somewhere about three weeks ago, um, Dana White and that said that they're stopping um, their own banning. They're going to leave it to the rag sanctioning bodies. And this was like three weeks ago. Mm. They they obviously made the U turn so they didn't have to ban John Jones because in their own thing anybody that's been uh, got tested for marijuana out of competition any steroids or diuretic they've been banning them themselves some reason now it all makes sense three weeks ago they said they're not they're going to leave the banning of fighters now they're going to stay out of it and and they blamed it on the Kung Lee incident yeah because they banned Kung Lee and they uh, for for testing positive for some sort of steroid uh, on their own tests as well out of competition shit and um they're they're they're, they're gonna just leave it all to the to the the powers that be like nevada and stuff and then and then this comes up they, they did it so they didn't have to act upon it I'm telling you because normally they should have been banning him not letting him fight because they've been doing that for the last year or two mental you, you're the only person live bro you still record i stopped mine you yeah. know he's innocent yeah I'm still recording. Yeah. I'm still recording, <laughs> Seve. Why, Seve? Why you stop? <laughs> I, I, I stop cleaning it up, man. Huh? Because it's gonna take too long to process on my computer. Oh, I'm still recording. I'm still recording. I I'm still recording, man. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Do you think? Do you think I'm still here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, nuts! Nice. Can't believe. It. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, Seve, you can wrap. When you ready to wrap it up, Seve? You can wrap it up and I'll stop, man. Cause I'm. No, go ahead. It's your. It's your video now. No, no, it's, it's, still, innocent, you, it's still yours. Cause I have to share the MP3, Seve. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, well. The, the, I don't know, man. I, I, I'll wait till I see him give a statement on it. But uh, the shit just, I mean, it's fucked up, man. If he, if he fucking with coke, man, you just can't afford to do that shit, man. Not when you hate it, man. People waiting on you to fail. They're waiting, on the, they're waiting to get you. They're waiting to get you, okay? So, John Jones, if he did that, which I hope he didn't, if he did that shit, man, then... <clears throat> He just gonna have to. He gonna have to take this spanking, man. They gonna give it to him. They gonna really fuck him. They gonna fuck him over on this, man. Endorsements, uh, all kinds of shit. They gonna just come down on this dude about this stuff, man. It's fucked up. Well, they, John Jones has released a statement. It says, uh, "With the support of my family, I've entered into a drug re uh, drug treatment facility. I want to apologize to my fiance, my children, as well as my mother and father and brothers for all the mistakes that I've made. I also want to apologize to the UFC, my coaches, my sponsors, and equally important to my fans. Um, I am taking the treatment program very seriously. Therefore, at this time, my family and I would appreciate privacy. Then the UFC released 
one saying we support the UFC light heavyweight champion John Jones's decision to enter a drug treatment facility to address his recent issue. While we are disappointed in the failed test, we applaud him for making this this decision to enter a treatment facility. Um, John is a strong, courageous fighter inside the octagon and we expect him to fight this issue with the same poise and diligence. We commend him on his decision and look forward to him emerging from this program a, as a better man as a result. And the Nevada State Commission Chairman Francisco Aguilar uh, said the commission is going to discuss out of competition tests at the next meeting to whether to break from the WADA code in similar situations if they ever happen again. Um, I am pleased that Mr Jones is addressing his issues and seeking help for his problems, said Aguero. So they've all commented on it, John Jones, UFC and Nevada. Oh, well, he looks if he's going to defend, no need to ask if, he, if there's any doubt on the test. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's a, it's, it's a no-brainer. He don't really matter. He's just fucking about, isn't it? If he's just going to be an idiot, it's not nothing to do with performance, aren't they? So it don't hey, really matter. Is this going to change? Over, he's just are they, are they going to overturn? Just uh, what I really want to know: Are they going to overturn the decision what he did against Finn? Like, um, are they going to overturn? Yeah. The decision? No, they? no, they're not. It's, 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 no. It's, 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 no, it's not. Like that's why um, Nevada have said they're going to readdress it in the next meeting to see mm-hmm. whether they should change it because they're following the WADA code, which is is the be all and end all is the Olympic style testing they test all the Olympic athletes and the cocaine and out of competition isn't considered a performance enhancing drug alright when it's when it's when you're tested in in uh, out of competition alright so, 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 hey Soviet when you're ready to wrap up man because uh, I'm depressed man when you ready Soviet alright 78 Sports TV here Earl Jarrett, UK boxing blogger, boxing beats and rhymes, Jay Dill, we'll holler. Peace. DJ Boxing Live here, DJ Boxing Live here. Busted Douglas, Maximum, Busted Douglas, the fat bump, the full letters, I mean. Yo, this is Chris Caban, chilling with my man, DJ Boxing Live, one of the hottest, dopest boxing channels on YouTube. Check him out. Boxing beats and rounds on the EJ Live YouTube channel. And Sophia was uh, the number 10 rating contender, and he had never been knocked down. And Sonny destroyed his mouth. Sophia lost most of his teeth, basically with one or two left hooks. Oh, shit, boy. What was look at kids sleeping like Manny Pacquiao? EJ Boxing Live here. EJ Boxing Live here.